Alright, how's it going guys? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to use Hypercam 2 with your Windows Sounds. This works for Vista, it works for 7. I don't know about 8 yet, I haven't had a chance to work with it. I am working under Vista right now, and if you go ahead and follow me, I'm also going to show you how to get your microphone to work alongside it. Okay. I am actually using Camtasia right now, or Cam Studio, sorry, using Cam Studio right now to record because we are going to be, because I am going to be opening the uh, Hypercam program and it's not going to take effect while it's still open. But, let me see here. Right now, under sound, we have a couple of items here, but none of them are what we need for recording sound. And I'll show you how to enable that. We got to right click on the sound and go to recording devices. It's going to open this nice little window here. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click anywhere here and show disabled devices. If you right click on one of these items, you'll see there's more options, but you still have this uh, you still have this uh, option. You'll see there's a couple of great great out items. One of them is going to be called stereo mix. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click on that, click enable, and then just go ahead and hide the, uh, the disabled devices again. You'll see Stereo Mix is actually still shown. And you can actually go into the properties, you can change the levels. Um, right around 25 to 30 is pretty good for uh, the system sounds. Um, don't worry too much about the rest of the stuff. Um, you can record at higher quality too. It's really up to you, but uh, CD quality is good enough for the web. Okay, so that's how you get that to show up with Hypercam, which when I open it back up, I'll go ahead and show you. We have the stereo mix in there now, which is totally awesome. Now, unfortunately, when you go to record, you won't be getting the mic input. And in order to get that to show, or to get that to work, you actually have to go back in this sound uh, window here under playback right click on your default speakers and go to properties you're going to click levels and see how microphone is uh, muted here microphone is not being included as part of the system sounds so we go ahead and unmute that and we're going to go ahead and raise that right around to about 88 that's about my favorite level for that. And we're also going to do that for a line in. Just because some computers have a little bit of issue with that. Um, the, sound, the sound driver really isn't configured properly. And when you go to plug in your microphone, it actually is in the line in instead of the mic. So I go ahead and set both of those to be about the same. Go ahead and click OK. And now when I record, it's going to have my voice alongside the uh, the sounds from the windows. And I'm going to go ahead and test that for you right now. Alright, and here we go. We have the, uh, the voice working and everything. And I'll go ahead and open up uh, DevPro and I'll show you I got the voice working with the sound. Uh, let's go to deck edit. Don't feel like going to a thing right now. And leave all music. And there we go. That is how you get it done, guys. Oh yeah, one other quick thing. When you're done, go ahead and go back to your uh, your playback and mute that again, because otherwise you're going to get a lot of feedback while you're trying to work on your computer. So go ahead and go back to properties, levels, and, oops, oh, I guess that goes live, so. Uh, uh, yeah. Alright. Peace.